this street in particular is a I'm not sure what's going on with it but I'm, I'm going to take a guess and say it's been all brought up by the council and it's awaiting a redevelopment that's my guess because every single house is dilapidated if that wasn't the case it was just um, something else and some of them will be lived in still but it looks like the whole whole of this street anyway has been condemned by the council and eventually will gradually eventually be sorted out you assume sure what's going on with this terrace at all but uh, I mean it looks like it's been derelict for decades not just um, a few years but decades because the roofs are, are just uh, non-existent in some places the roofs of the houses but there's not too many streets like this now in Liverpool not as many as what they were in the in the 90s Yeah, I don't think I'd leave my car parked here overnight. I'll leave my car on some dodgy streets sometimes, but usually they're dodgy, but they're within sight of a CCTV, which is a deterrent, even if the CCTV is not working. It is a bit of a deterrent for people to smash, you know, put the window through and uh, smash and look for whatever they want to think is in the car so the highlight for me of this boarded up street is this mural here which is a nice budgie nice budgie and a not so nice <laughs> front garden. <laughs> 